Without any more, continue for home buyers. Would you like the inside tip to give you the edge over all the other buyers you're competing against? Watch the video, find out. Hello there, this is Slavonsky. Slavonsky Homes, I hope you're doing well. Yes, multiple offers or bidding wars continue through the second half of 2023. We were all actually hoping that would go away over the last year. However, because of the shortage of available homes for buyers, the bidding wars continue. So how about I give you a few tips that will give you the edge over other buyers. So on a home that we previously listed, we had 12 offers come in. Surprisingly, almost three quarters of them had errors in them, either on the contract itself or it had missing documentation, pre-approval letters that were expired or didn't, the price did not match uh, the offer price that was on the contract. People, Some people had cash offers and their verification of funds were either missing or again, they were very old, meaning we don't know if they were current and they still have the money or the amount on their verification of funds statement also didn't add up to the price they were offering on the contract. These are all just hugely important when we go through the offers. So key number one, work with a good realtor. A good realtor has great attention to detail and will not make any errors on the contract offer. Over the last couple of years, we've had a lot of fly by night. Uh, realtor just looking to make a quick buck. And yes, those are the discount brokers. And bottom line is they suck. Most of them suck. I'm sorry, but that is just a downright fact. Uh, again, good realtor will make sure that all the details are in and nothing is missing. And a side note, just imagine that same realtor that has errors on the contract, doesn't make sure that all the documentation is, is representing you in the sale of your home. Sure, that commission savings up front looks very enticing. However, how much are they really costing you down the road? Keep that in mind. So number two, going back to the pre-approval letters, make sure you are working with a local reputable lender. Talk to your realtor about lenders they recommend. No, the realtor doesn't get any kickback from these lenders, but they have experience with working with many lenders, just like I do. And we know which ones can get the job done and which ones we're gonna have issues with. And yes, I communicate all of that to my sellers. The bottom line is, if there are issues from contract to close, it's a lot of stress on the sellers, and there's that chance that it will not close. A good lender will also keep an open line of communication to all parties throughout the process from contract to close, so there are no surprises along the way. We don't find out halfway through the process that there were missing documentation for the buyers and maybe they are not approved for the amount that they put an offer in. Key, work with a reputable lender. Can't stress that enough. Yes, when I receive multiple offers, I do call every single one of the lenders, number one, to verify that the clients are qualified for that amount and also to get a feel for how competent that lender is. The third key is make the contract offer as simple as possible for the seller. Number one, your realtor should be calling the seller's realtor to find out what the seller's preferred closing date is. You may not want to ask for things like a home warranty in a multiple offer situation. You may want to consider buying it as is, meaning you could still do your home inspection to make sure there are no serious issues with the home. However, you're telling the sellers up front, you're not going to nickel and dime them to death over minor repairs. So in summary, as you're heading out to buy the home of your dreams, get all your ducks in a row. Get yourself a good realtor, a good local reputable lender. Make sure your pre-approval is up to date. If you're buying with cash, make sure you have a current verification of funds. You can black out your account number, but make sure your name is on that statement. And make the contract as simple as possible for the seller. This will increase your odds of having your offer considered on your next home. This is Slavonsky, Slavonsky Homes. If you have any questions of buying or selling here in the Midwest of Illinois or Wisconsin, give me a call. I would love to help you out.